Hello everyone, welcome to Elliot with Dasukes.com YouTube channel. <coughs> so today um I will be updating quickly on the long term outlook for the silver miners SIL. So here is the monthly time frame guys. This has been kind of sideways and um it's really not participating in the rally of um, the indices in general or uh, the high tech, right? Definitely it's not one of the fanciest uh, sectors right now. But at the same time, if you look at the monthly time frame, uh, the idea here is that it's tough to see how it breaks below 1584, which is the 2020 or the 2016 low. Because if it breaks below this low or this low, right the the implication is that we're going to be doing another extension lower like this and basically we pretty much ran out of space the 100 percent is going to be negative 23 which never is going to happen right it's never going to go to zero or anywhere near zero so which means that we are running out of space on the downside and it is quite reasonable to assume that 2020 low is really the major low in this etf right and therefore now uh, we should be uh, trying to form the low even though again it's been very frustrating and it didn't participate like some other um, you know high-tech stocks or indices um, but we are looking to form the lows and then start to rally so we're calling this one two and then another one two and this is another uh, you know short-term one two now if I go down this is the uh, monthly time frame right? if I go down to the daily and look at this structure of the rally here now I think it looks to me like uh, I think we can count this as a uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? Now again, I think another another possibility is that this is an ABC, but then if it is an ABC again, that means you gonna be looking to extend lower, and uh, simply we don't have enough space on the downside, guys. Now even if even if we assume we break below here, let's say, uh, we're not gonna go to 100% extension of this one too because again it's it's just running out of space which means at some point we're gonna truncate even if it breaks lower it's, it's not gonna go to 100% as it normally does when it has a high high lower low but it is always gonna truncate uh, truncate means it doesn't reach the 100% and then starts to reverse so for now uh, we are assuming that this is gonna hold uh, this 2022 September and uh, we got this one too and then this is almost like a major retest of the two again almost breaking but uh last time i checked it's kind of like a double bottom it's not really you know it's not really breaking below it so for now i'm still a uh, kind of um uh i'm still calling it the same way it's four cents basically it's still four cents above this previous low here uh, so now and then you can see this one it does look like a five wish up so for now we're looking for extension higher in the SIL um, in the shorter cycle okay so is it the most bullish or is it the most sort of the best outlook not really right but again the idea is that running out of space on the downside so as long as we hold above this um, previous low here right which is around 23 uh, 5.0 20 sorry 22 yeah 22 something like 22 uh 57 right then we have a chance to uh we have a chance to extend higher again okay so that's the idea here guys from the sil uh, i think it still needs the gold and silver to rally in order for the miners to rally as well otherwise it's just gonna continue to languish right now and go sideways so um, you need more patience and uh, I think unless you are long-term traders accumulate I don't think this is suitable for short-term traders that only have a lifespan of like 24 hours for example because it's not gonna move that fast uh, over here it's not like very trending to the upside but again I think for value investors long term you know just willing to hold it as long as possible it could present some opportunities here Okay, so that's it for me today guys and I'll see you all again next time. Have a nice day everyone.